Get ready, buddy. Good job, man. That was awesome. Congrats, man. I'm a licensed cunt. <laughs> See you. Get it, buddy. You got it. What an opening day in the seal. Good job, See brother. You. Thank you. Turkey's right here, boys. I'm gonna kill a turkey. He's a turkey hunt fanatic. That's pretty good, isn't it? That was awesome. We're headed out. This is day, I guess officially we're going to call this day one. Or day, this is day pre one. Yeah. Scouting mission here in Mississippi. We're going to split up. Drake and Drew are going to a different piece, and me and Matt are going to go try to listen. It's chilly this morning. Gonna be it's a drastic change from Florida. We got our teeth kicked in down there and 95, 96 degree heat, and here it is 30. Was it 30? 33. Feels like 13. Obviously, some people aren't too amused, but we are. Opening days tomorrow. Sitting way up high on this hill, just trying to choke one out of one from a distance. If we can find a turkey, you know, right here pretty quick that we know he's got to be roosted somewhere close unless he just hit the ground running. Um, but regardless, if we can find a goblin turkey, it's going to be money. So we know they ought to be pretty close to home base here if we can get one located. in these big pine flats, just hit, calling down these hardwood bottoms. Got a hen going and turkey stung gobble three or four times way in the distance. So we're right here. So them hens saw it, they're right in here. And then he's sounding like he's right down the road right here. Finally. <laughs> Hoping there's a gobby close that's gonna say something. He did yesterday once he got on the ground. We weren't there at daylight, so he could have been gobbling at daylight. I don't know, but turkey hit pretty hard in the hens. We're banking that he's gonna do it again. It's, it's cold, but we were talking last night. These turkeys normally, if it'll kind of level off like it's been, it's been cool the last few days. They'll, they'll normally act right. So we did have a monumental moment yesterday. Yesterday morning and yesterday afternoon. Yesterday morning, me and Matt heard our first gobble together. Very emotional. And then yesterday afternoon, we had another emotional moment talking about flock turkeys and realized we no longer will call them toms. Ain't those toms in rooster. Oh, man. From here on out, 
man, we call them gobbies. Gobbies, my man. <laughs> we have three options: long beard, gobby, or gobbler. Not so not bad on that one. New York has been southernified. That was fine. He gets there's a tall one. I'm like, I don't know. I was like, a little bit. So let's call him. Let's call him. So let's just not call him Tom. So yeah, my bad. My hey, bad. Hey, <laughs> Matt. hey Matt. From here on out, we're gonna call him Gobbies. Yeah. <laughs> here on out. I was the same damn way. <laughs> set up on this road. I ain't heard a peep this morning. We're right where the hens sounded like they were yesterday and sounded like where that turkey goblin was coming to. Just kind of slow playing it. You can hear for a long ways. I ain't heard nothing, but it sure is cold. Hopefully they'll get going the sun gets up a little bit. You didn't hear it? Call again? No, no, the first I heard a hand. It was about with the head. <laughs> That's a woodpecker, man. No, that ain't a woodpecker. Uh-uh. That's a woodpecker. That where there he is. That other, that's a turkey. That's a turkey. Yeah, that one right in there. I mean, unless he's, I think he's deep in He's way deeper than her.
I had to back out and make a big on bit on this road. Make a big loop on them. So if like they're vocal enough, I think we'll be okay. Just kind of slow play it till we can get up there to them. Try to get set up. They sound like they're dang near. Not too far from where we parked. But there is a big section of hardwoods up there that could be in. Lots walking. Build some heat up. right here. in the back. Get ready, Matt. Let him clear good. You ready? Graveyard dead. Let's first go. gobble together to the first <sighs> gobbly non floppage <sighs> Holy smokes, dude. That was gorgeous, wasn't it? It what took her a minute to get going. He ain't moved. No, dude, dude, that was gorgeous. How about that? Oh. I was burning that red dot, that bush and that red dot. So I was like, man, I, think I screw this up. Oh. Look at that. Yes, sir. I 
mean, not, not literally knocked the flop out of him. He ain't moved a muscle. Got a little baby size feather pillow we can make. <laughs> Man, it never gets old. We come in here last yesterday morning, heard it was, who knows if it was the same turkey gobble way down this road, probably five, 600 yards from here. Martin came in last night, heard hens fly up and got on. And these turkeys never said a word on the limb this morning. They got to go in once they flew down. They know there's there more than just him in here that was gobbling. And uh, we just, I mean, I say we slow played it. We, we got pinned down by that hen or we'd have come up this draw, but we just backed out and come around and we got up here, uh, Around the corner, he kept he was strutting. You could hear them jakes caulking, and um, and every time when they was caulking, he was in there strutting. And they did it when they came in a little bit. But that's what kept us on them. We really stayed here, and I'll set up just to see what they would do, see if they would drift this way, or we could make a move. I wanted to get to this this bend right here, and then started hitting them a little bit, got aggressive, and they finally struck and got the gobble. And then they, them jakes were caulking. They come right down the road. Beautiful, 30 yards, big meat. Maybe a few pellets in the breast, but he didn't fly off. <laughs> Good job, brother. That was awesome. Congrats, man. This is the the first spring thunder whispering edition of why he did what he did. We're walking back up to this turkey we just killed. And uh, I think the main flock's on down this draw we were trying to get to. But again, going bear and they're not gobbling great. And the hens were responsive earlier for these jakes are down there caulking. Another set of them saw them. Hoping there's a strutter down there. We're gonna to try to get, about to buy a man a license and see if we can go get number two here. But um, I guess to sum up the story is pay attention to what the turkeys are doing, especially when they're not gobbling great. Uh, obviously they gobbled enough to where we knew there was turkeys in here, but when we closed the deal the last 200 yards, we just slow played and let them jakes get to caulking to where we knew they were around the bend. And the way this road lays, it's bending right there and bending back there by where we moved the buggy. And we just kept going bend to bend and we got as tight on as we could and then hit them pretty hard and got them fired up and they came in but who knows this could be just an innocent bystander of the flock we may be about to really get into them so good days here on opening day in mississippi i'm a licensed hunter <laughs> mr new york's going for it this be your first southern turkey wouldn't it yeah for sure oh, now we got a whole new twist of the saga I was running, I was bad mouthing these turkeys yesterday to the map because I'm talking about how they'll never work good. And here they are, this turkey comes right down the road. They work pretty good. They ain't too trapped out there. I think there's a food plot up in here, I remember. I think these turkeys are up in, so we're going to go down there and see if we can't get them struck up. I hope I can run this camera. Shoot 
Get it, buddy. You got it. You got it. <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. It was quick. Hey, hey, that might not have been award-winning footage, but... Hey, that was a low one. We killed two turkeys in one day, though. That's what matters. Oh, my gosh, dude. I told you they were coming. Yeah. We put it, and I said, get him. Go get him. Well, he was, a, he was about 40 yards, wasn't he? Then he I said, see him scratching right here. Then he said, there he is. <laughs> I'm thinking, what? That's a big bird. Good job, bro. That's your first southern bird? Yeah. <laughs> That's my first. Outside New York State Yes, sir. Philip, thank you, man. Good job. What a morning. Dude. Two totally different hunts. Yeah, totally. <laughs> wow, I didn't have time for my heart to skyrocket. I could see his head coming. Did you see him pop out? Did you never saw him? As soon as you said there he is, but I But he saw stepped him. in the road, didn't he? Yeah, well, about half and, half But then he, it was, he, he was going back when he shot, wasn't he? Just about to. Yeah. His head was up. He was about one, was about 40. About, yes. Just inside range. Two. Dude, that's and so the freaking <laughs> awesome. Now the weekend be a little bit louder on the why he did what he did on this one because two completely different hunts. Yeah. They were, these turkeys gobbled tw twice since we sat down. We came in and just sat down. They, they, we thought we heard some jakes coughing. I called them and I could see them, I could see them scratching, but they were coming up. I never called to them. We sat back and then they just, what we called, I never even called when I sat down. What, uh -uh. what was last time called 20 no, minutes you ago? Said, yeah. And then they, I could see them coming well, that's place. That's you so, went to go look down there. Yeah. I could see them scratching right down here. And these, these, what I thought was going to mess us up, these mounds saved us really. Yeah. Man, just like watching you do what you do, the first time I've ever hunted with you, but <laughs> just like the things that I would have done if I was just hunting on my own. Yeah. A little bit different, and I, I don't know. Sometimes you gotta be, you gotta be risk, risk busting them, but I mean, I knew they probably weren't gonna come through this, and then they were scratching, and then they were just working toward the road. I thought maybe, and hopefully, he, you know, obviously he didn't like what he saw down here. There you go. He didn't like what he saw, but he came out with enough, with enough in range here. But he, like I said, he took the angle. Luckily, he walked out in range, so we got it done. What a gorgeous bird, man. What an opening day in the sit. That was awesome. Good job, Good. buddy. Thank you.